Oh yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today I want to show you how to update the firmware on the MK908. This process is the same for most Android mini PCs, so you can use this video as a reference even if you have a different model. I'll put links and updates to the files that you'll need in the video description down below. The first thing you'll want to do is take out your micro SD card. You don't want it in there while you're flashing the unit. You will be using the OTG port to upload the image file from your PC to the AMP. Before you get started, you're going to need three downloads. You're going to need the firmware, you're going to need the Rockchip USB drivers, and these are different for a quad core, so you may need to download these again, and you're going to need the Rockchip flash tool. If a finless ROM comes out, these are usually all included in a single download. Now you're going to want to extract each zip file to a known place on your computer. I created three folders for the three different zip files, then I right clicked each zip file and chose extract here. Remember the location that you extract to because you'll need to browse to it later. Most amps have a button that you hold down while applying power to put them into flash mode. The MK809 has two holes. One is a light, the other one has a button down below the hole. So we'll use a paper clip, hold it down, and then put the power in. Here you can see the button, and you can hear it click a little bit when you push it down with the paper clip. Be sure your USB cable is connected directly to your PC and not through any hub or other USB devices. Now we're ready to enter flash mode to install the USB drivers. Hold the button down with a paper clip and while you continue to hold it down, insert the USB cable into the OTG port. Wait about 3 seconds after you connect the power cable and you should hear a ding. Now you can release the button. Now you're ready to install the USB flash mode drivers. There are two different sets of drivers for amps. One to connect it to a computer so that it acts as a mass storage device. Windows will automatically install this driver. The second driver is for when the device is in flash mode. This is what you need to update the firmware. Windows will not automatically install this driver. You'll need to install it manually by connecting the amp to your PC while it's in flash mode and navigating it to the files that you downloaded earlier. If Windows does not come up with a USB install window, go to Device Manager and look for the Rockchip USB device. Right click it and choose Update Driver Software. Choose Browse My Computer. Hit Browse and navigate to where you downloaded the USB drivers. Select the drivers for the version of Windows you're running. For example, I'm using 64-bit Windows 7. Now hit OK and Next. Windows might warn that the drivers are unsigned. Accept that and keep going. At this point, disconnect the MK908 and restart Windows just to be on the safe side. Now put the MK908 back in flash mode by holding the button down and connecting the power cord to the OTG port. Wait about 3 seconds and release the button. Now open up the Rockchip flash tool. If the number one connected device is green, you are almost ready to go. Just hit the box to the right of where it says FW path and browse to your image file that you saved earlier. When you're ready to flash, hit the restore button. If the number one box is either gray or pink, you either aren't in flash mode or the USB drivers aren't installed and you'll need to repeat the process. If a finless ROM becomes available for this device, I'll put a link to it down in the video description below. Here's what the software on Bob Finless's ROMs looks like. Sometimes it will give you different options. It will have a readme file with it that tells you exactly what you need to do each time. Entering flash mode and installing the USB drivers will be the same no matter which software package you use. Just the software package that writes to the device at the end is the only thing that changes. Alright, that wraps up the firmware update for the MK908. I'll put links in the video description to everything you need to update the firmware, and when new updates come out, I'll also put those down in the video description as well. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, hit that little thumbs up button down there, it'll help me out a whole lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be the first to know when new videos come out. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.